This summer on The Bachelor, we quickly narrowed down our choice to find the most eligible man. Hi, my name is Blackout and I work at Green Bay Bible Camp and uh, I want to be the next Bachelor. There's a picture of my brother and his, uh, and his wife, their wedding picture, it's on the wall and right beside it is my, uh, is my sister and her husband, their wedding picture. And if you notice, there's not even any room beside it. Like they, they, they didn't even clear any room just in case I might get married. I, I really think my parents have given up hope. Oh, we've pretty well lost all hope. Our son is going to be single forever. I, I think I can, uh, I can find someone to marry in a matter of a couple weeks. That's, uh, that, that's all I'm asking. And I figure that uh, it's nice to have the producers of The Bachelor pay for all the, all the dates. That'd be, a, that'd be cool because I don't make that much money. I'm a Christian school teacher. Soon, Blackout met the 25 ladies who were each vying to be his wife. But, after looking over the background checks, it was revealed that many of these eligible bachelorettes were underage and that one was really a man. So, 19 ladies were sent home and Blackout's choices were narrowed down to six. It's all about uh, finding a connection, trying to find uh, someone that uh, I fit with. That's, uh, that's going to be my goal for the next couple days and uh, hopefully in the next dates I'll be able to uh, to learn more about them and they'll learn more about me. And uh, hopefully they won't find out my deep dark secrets. Crystal, you accept this rose? How about no? You could have said something! I would rather date a rat than ever date Blackout. The rose was not the only thing that snapped that night. The ladies started to get aggressive. He tells me how much he does not like any of you girls. Whatever, he told me I'd be in the top two, okay? Right. He told me I'd be in the top two. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, honey, it's okay. <laughs> Ariel. Ow, you hurt me. Things were getting out of hand, as one of the rejected women would not go quietly. Apparently I was kicked out. Oh, no, no, I won't, I won't no, accept no, his decision. No, I know our soulmates. Go Thank you. home. No way. Mary, honey, go home. Oh, Mary. oh my Mary, go home! We're all feeling this issue. But don't worry, soon it'll be just one of us with him. We won't have to share him. I don't think that's gonna make her happy. Yeah, it is, because it's gonna be me. Oh, oh attitude. That's a bold statement! Yeah, Freak! I think it's important that I'm one of the final two because it would strengthen our relationship. And I'll do anything to anyone that gets in between us. Well, we'll see what happens. Oh, we will, because I will be in the final two. It's funny that, like, after all this time, everybody's finding out we're blackout. It's so surreal. Who's kissed him here? I have. You have? Mm -hmm. I haven't kissed him yet. I Maybe can't. it makes me better. I haven't either. He, he no, wants to kiss no, me on the not perfect a, night. Not until I win. Just so you all know, this is the final rose. Yeah, we get it, there's one left. You don't need to tell us this every time. One rose, final rose, dude. I wanted to be one of the final two, and I told him that I wanted to, but he just didn't listen to me. We had such a good time together. We laughed and we cried together and we bonded. We were so close. I just hope that, I just, I love those girls, but they're just not for him. I'm the one for him, and he should know that. He should have seen that and seen the way that I cared about him, and he cared about me. I don't know what he's thinking. But the dates continued, and questions started to arise. I really think I'm falling for blackout. He gives me butterflies in my stomach, but then it, it could have been the dinner that I ate last night. So, how can you have such strong feelings for three women? Oh. Can't you just choose one? Well, the producers won't let me pick one, because then the show would be over in like two nights. They want to stretch it out as long as possible. Oh. I think it's time for me to uh, be a little bit more vulnerable, because uh, I think I've gotten to know them well enough, but now i just got to put my heart out there and uh, hope they don't trample all over it. So Chris, I'm torn. I have, there's these three, three wonderful women. 
and I just don't know which one to pick. Yeah. They're all beautiful and well you've got to choose one of them. And it's a difficult, difficult choice. You don't care at all, do you? I care more about the socks I'm gonna wear tomorrow than about you. The decisions were difficult, and Blackout had to deal with the consequences. But you said you were falling for me. I said a lot of things. Then it was down to two women, Ariel and Naomi. After some special dates, Blackout went to his parents for advice. They're both they're both great, they're both spectacular, and I just I just I just don't know what to do. What do you think I should do, Dad? Look, don't get picky. Take whatever you can get. Wow. That's great advice, Dad. In the most dramatic finale in Bachelor history. The candles were set for the most juvenile of rejections. Ariel, you're a special and wonderful person, but in the end, eeny meeny miny mo caught the tiger by the toe and hollered, so I let him go and I'm sorry, Ariel, but you're just not it. But in the end, Blackout got what was coming to him. Too bad for Blackout, good for me. <laughs> so join us next summer as Blackout tries to find love on another installment of The Bachelor. <laughs>